Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, August 9th. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week 6 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 97 and 99, and John chapter 3, verse 22 to 36. And now please join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Cure and Obese. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, God most high reigns, let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. Psalms 97 and 99. Please recite them with me. Hallelujah, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you. Righteousness and judgment are the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. And your lightnings light up the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declare your righteousness, and all the people see your glory. Confounded are they that serve carved images, that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments. For you are high above all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil, you preserve the souls of the saints, and you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God most high, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Let the people tremble. You sit between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. You are great in Zion, and you are high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for it is holy. O mighty lover of justice, you establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All you people exalt God Most High and worship at God's feet, for our God is holy. Moses and Aaron were among God's priests, and Samuel among them that called upon God's name. They called upon God Most High, and God answered them. And God spoke to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept God's court testimonies and the ordinance that God gave them. You answered them, O beloved God, you forgave them, though you took vengeance of their evil deeds. Exalt God most high and worship at God's holy hill, for our God is holy. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God most high reigns. Let earth rejoice. Let the islands be glad. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 3, beginning at verse 22. Now Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptized. John was also baptizing at Anon near Salim, because water was abundant there, and people kept coming and were being baptized. John, of course, had not yet been thrown into prison. Now a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and they said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, here he is baptizing and all are going to him. John answered, no one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. 
You yourselves are my witnesses that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. And for this reason, my joy has been fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks about earthly things. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, and yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed all things in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, and whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, and please respond. Hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill and Ken, for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and Paul, and Donald and Hillary, for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who has begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Peter, Francis and Claire, Dominic, Lawrence, Claire, Florence and Jeremy, and all your saints, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, O mighty God. We exalt you with our tongues and worship you in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.